Hey, this is going to be a really quick video to show you how to set up different headers and footers in Microsoft Word using a couple tricks that are built into it. So let's say I've got this fancy report um, and I want to get the different headers and footers set up. All I need to do is double click in the header up here and that exposes a bunch of different options for me. One of the most important ones is this different first page. If I select that, that means that my first page has its own header and footer settings. So if I want to create, you know, a header in my document that runs on every single page, but I don't want it on my title page, this is super handy. Now I can also do different odd and even pages. So now I have a first page header still, but down in the body I have even page headers and odd page headers. So now if I come in here and I say, even page header, you can see it's not showing on this next page. That's using the odd page header. Okay, so let's say I want this last page to have its own header. Well, that's pretty easy too. If I just come back into the body of the document here, on the second to last page, I'm going to, I'm going to come up to the layout tab in the ribbon and then click this breaks drop down and I can insert a section break that starts on the next page. So now if I double click in the header on this final page here, you can see that it is a different section and the header is blank now. Now the problem is if I go and change this, that is going to update my cover page. Why is that? So let's undo. That's because this is linked to previous in the ribbon. So if I click that now, and now I type in, you know, final section, and I scroll all the way up to the top, now my cover page does not have that header. Perfect, well I hope this video was useful for you. It's just showcasing a couple of tools that Microsoft Word has built into it for managing headers and footers. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want more helpful videos like this.